Hey guys, I know some people have trouble visualizing the relationship between rib rotation in the sagittal plane and spinal rotation in the transverse plane. I mean, I get it. It's a pretty abstract concept. Um, it's easy enough to see it when you pull a shoulder back and see the torso rotate towards the shoulder. But when you're doing right reaching activities with ZOA and you're attempting to externally rotate the right top ribs, um, it definitely looks like the torso is rotating towards the opposite side, right? So let's take a look under the hood with some basic anatomy. The head of each rib is relatively rectangular with articulations across two separate vertebral bodies. The top portion of the rib head articulates with the top vertebral body through the inferior costal facet. The bottom portion of the rib head articulates with the bottom vertebral body through its superior costal facet. Here's where things get interesting. When a rectangular object rotates in space, the top and bottom part of it will move in different directions. <clears throat> if we take this phone as an example, when I rotate this thing upward, the top of it will move back and the bottom of it will move forward this way. So in the case of a left rib external rotation, the left side of the top vertebral body will get dragged backwards along with the rib head as it externally rotates. Now all my fellow visual learners out there, this is for you. These two nuts represent the top and bottom vertebral bodies that articulate with each rib which is then represented by my thumb and my index finger. So we'll start at the resting position of a rib. Now pay attention to what the top vertebral body is doing as I externally rotate this rib. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys next time I think of something useful.